Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. This video is going to be another in my RHCSA practice session series. And the topic for this particular video is going to be processing shell command exit codes underneath the Create Simple Shell Scripts objective group. Just a reminder that this isn't necessarily authoritative information as much as it's an opportunity to practice these concepts to see if I feel like I know them well enough, should I have to face these concepts on the exam, I will be able to uh, to do well with it. That being said, I do try to keep the information as accurate as possible. Before I dive in, I do want to thank returning subscribers for watching another video, and I want to invite everyone, if you enjoy the content of this video, make sure you click like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do by clicking the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be aware of when new content comes available. There are two things I want to show you about exit codes with bash scripting. And the first is going to be setting specific exit codes within your script, or rather not necessarily within your script, but setting your script to exit with particular exit codes. And the other is going to be how to use what's returned as an exit code within your script. Now exit codes are what's returned anytime you, you run a program, such as if I were to just do ls to my directory here, that ran successfully. And we can check an exit code by echoing the dollar sign question mark variable. And that had an exit code of zero because this, this ran successfully. Likewise, if I were to do ls and then just some gibberish here, actually I don't want to do semicolons, just some gibberish here. I'm gonna obviously say we didn't get a file or directory. And if I were to echo the exit code, that's exit code two. Generally speaking, zero, an exit code of zero is going to be success and an exit code that's not zero is going to be some type of a, a failure. So how we can apply this to a script as far as, let's say that we wanted to have a particular exit code for a particular state of the script. You run your script, you get this output and if you're wanting to know why, you know, you maybe will have it return a particular exit code. And then in your documentation, you'll have for exit code, whatever, this is what went on. So in our script here, we're going to echo choose dog, cat, or fish, fish, fish. We're going to read whatever is input into a variable called animal. And I'm going to use a case statement to set different exit codes with this. So we'll do case the variable in. And then the syntax for the case statement is going to be whatever you are wanting to uh, check with a um, parenthesis or a closed parenthesis. And then whatever your script block is going to be. So we're just going to echo this is, or you chose dog, and also echo script will exit with code five, and then exit five. And then we end that with two semicolons. And then for cat, you echo you chose cat script will exit with code four let me fix my misspelling there as I see that I've made one exit four I left out a quotation mark there and then fish Go. you chose fish, go script will exit with, keep making that mistake, with code three, and then star is a catch-all for the case statement, and we'll say you chose whatever the animal is. And we'll say script 
we'll exit with code 2. Exit 2. And then we end the case statement with case backwards. All right, so I've already set this file to executable, so we're going to go ahead and run it. And we're going to choose dog. So echo statements were fired off as we expect. And if I were to check the dollar sign question mark, we see that the exit code is five. Now let's run this again. Let's choose uh, fish. All right, it says exit code will be three. This executed uh, the way we expected. And we'll check the exit code, and it is three. And then let's try um, any other value. So exit test, let's do uh, wolf. All right, and it did the, you chose animal, right? Because it, it gave us the value wolf. Exit code two. And there you go. So for this example, this would be, you want to maybe have documentation and you want to provide different exit codes for different things that happen in your script. This, this is a way to do that. Now, one thing to keep in mind is doing exit codes in this way, you really can't reuse them within the same script. So once you get to that exit, the script stops. So let's say that we did this, um, echo dollar sign question mark just to see what the exit code would be, right? Because in theory, you know, I could do LS and then the next line of the script be echo dollar sign question mark and we'll get the, um, the exit code. Let's put this to the test. All right, choose dog, cat, or fish. We'll do cat this time. All right, and notice that we didn't get another echo statement after the script will exit with code four. And it did exit with code four. That is because once we hit exit, then the, the, the script is done. It's not like exit code is not just setting the exit code. It is stopping the, the script and setting the exit code to what you want. If I were to do this, let me, comment out the exit four and let's do exit test again. We'll do cat. Now this time notice how we have a zero here because the case went, you know, we finished the case statement and the next line is echo dollar sign question mark. So if you're going to use custom exit codes like this, you're not going to be able to like, have the script continue going on. Now, I may be wrong with that. If there is a way of doing this, I encourage you to put it in the comments, but I'm fairly certain that once bash hits that exit um, command, then it's done. But the second part, as I mentioned, is being able to use exit codes w within your script. So let's say that you had a script where which you wanted to test to see if a directory existed and if it does not exist, then we want to make the directory. And then depending on if the directory was made properly, we want to give a message that, you know, directory was, was made successfully. So to do that, we'll use our TMP folder again for this. Let's erase what we have here for our script. So the first thing we're going to do is test to see if a directory exists. And I believe this is dash D for if, but if you're ever on the exam and you are, um, and you're stuck about the particular tests for if you can do a couple of things, you can look at the man test command and it will give you a couple of the values. You can also search the man pages for bash and look for the conditionals section. And, and, and that will give you some of the information as well. So we're going to want um, D or dash D for this. So it would be if dash D temp test 
So if that exists, we're going to echo directory exists, nothing to do, else we're going to make dir temp test fi. And then what we can do is do another if statement, dollar sign question mark equals zero. We can do then echo directory was made with no errors. Else echo there was a problem making the directory. What you might want to do is when you do make dear temp test, since we're wanting to do something for there was a problem, you can send standard error to dev null since we're accounting for the fact that, hey, something happened. So let's take a look at this real quick. The idea is, or we'll check to see if the directory exists. If it does exist, we're just going to say it exists, nothing to do. Otherwise, we're going to make the directory, and if there's any um, error that comes out with that, we're just going to send that standard error to dev null, to where we don't see it on the screen. We'll then test... I say, well, we'll then test, and then I'm thinking, hey, this might not work the way I think, but that's why we have a practice session here. We'll see how it works. Then we're going to check the current status of the dollar sign question mark, and if it equals zero, then we're assuming that the directory was made, and if it equals something other than zero, then we're assuming that there was a problem making the directory. So, trying to stay with a theme that I've done on some of my other videos about this, Normally, you wouldn't just crank out this, this script like this unless you're 100% like sure of this is how it's going to work. You would probably have tested this um, in, in some form or fashion. And what we can do for this, let's go ahead and make the directory. We can test how the um, dollar sign question mark is going to work. Let's go ahead and make temp test. And we will... Send the output to dev null or standard error to dev null. All right, and we'll echo question mark. All right, so we got, um, oh, I'm, I see what's going on there. Exit code 127, MD cure is not a, um, is not an actual command. Thus, we have that. And we did not get any error output, but we did get the exit code. So let's try this once again, and I won't misspell the command this time. Make dir temp test. We'll send the any error to dev null. Let's echo our exit code. All right, exit code zero. And there is our test directory. So let's remove that. Actually, no, we're going to keep it there. And let's, um, let's simulate a, an error state. So we're going to just try to make the directory again. And we'll send output to dev null. And let's check our exit code. Now we have an exit code of 1. And that would make sense because if I tried doing this and I did not send the standard error anywhere, it's going to tell me that there's a problem. The, the directory currently exists, right? So this should behave the way that we want. So let's put it to the test. We are going to remove the directory. Test. Oh, rmd -er. So he's doing rm-f for that. And now let's put the script to the test. So this will be exit test. And this is what we got. Directory was made with no errors. All right, let's run our script again. Ah, 
All right. So first of all, it did exactly what we told it to do. Directory exists, nothing to do. Um, and since there was nothing that occurred, the dollar sign question mark is equal to zero. So therefore this, this happened here. What we'd probably want to do is just run the exit command at this point. And if you run exit without specifying a, an exit code, then it's going to assume zero. So let's try that. And we get our exit code zero. So what we have here is a way of, we have something that we're doing within our script, which in this case is making a directory. And then we're checking to see if there was some type of problem with making the directory. And based off of exit code, we are making some type of decision as to whether or not we want to echo this particular statement with there are no errors or we want to echo that there was some type of a problem. But from what I can see, that should pretty much cover um, what's being looked for with processing shell command exit codes. Obviously, I don't know exactly what's going to be on the exam. And then even if I did know, I wouldn't be able to share because of non-disclosure agreements. But I think for the level of exam that RHCSA is meaning to be, I think this is a, a reasonable in terms of what to look for for the processing shell command exit codes. Either have your script to where you can dictate what exit codes to return, or you have your script to where you can take action depending on whatever exit code you have. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch. Feel free to leave any comments, questions, um, or leave any comments with questions or feedback and such. I in, in enjoy hearing it and I answer what I can when I can. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do and ring the bell when you subscribe so you can be aware of when new content comes available. And don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy the content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you the next time.